What's up everybody, it's Yes Deer. We're here at Pace's Pub and we're finishing up our second day of tracking. It's been a long day and it's been a blast. We've got eight tracks done, the basic tracks. Uh, we've had a lot of fun. It's been a great day. And thanks to all of you for contributing to our Kickstarter campaign. Absolutely. Thank you. We would not be doing this, doing this without your help. Absolutely. Uh, thank you very much. Yes. And uh, we've had a great time. Here's a look at some of the stuff that happened today. It's pretty cool. Hey guys, um, just thought I'd let you know what kinds of instruments I'm using. I'm mainly playing my Taylor most of the time, uh, that I've had for a long time now. It's kind of a vintage instrument now. Uh, and this is a uh, mandolin I'm using a lot. I think it's a 1942 Gibson. And then I'm borrowing this ukulele from our producer. I'm going to use it on one song. Martin D21, it's a limited edition, about mid 80s. Um, it was the first guitar that I bought myself, so it's kind of a special, special guitar to me. Now I'm using this uh, baby Taylor that has uh, basically it's the high strings from a 12 string set, so it has a nice jangly sound. I've used that on a couple songs, and then I've got this other Taylor. Uh, it's just a 114, which is kind of entry-level Taylor, but it sounds great. I've used it just about on every song, so uh, Taylor, if you're out there, I need a real awesome $2,000 Taylor guitar, so send me one. Jim's got some really cool stuff. Um, this is an actual drumstick used by Ringo Starr on the Magical Mystery Tour 1969. There's no telling how much this thing's worth. Hey, Jim. 